There should be more open spaces where people can just gather. Stop thinking about these as being airports and thinking about them as being huge amount of public space that we could do something with. Once you get through the security and you've gotten your clothes back on and you're ready to move towards your flight, well, then you pop into the, uh, I call it the great hall space. And you're just kind of like, wow. You kind of stop and you're stunned for a second. For me, that's a really exciting moment. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why we needed an international terminal. Uh, the old terminal was candidly old. So in order to be competitive, we had to seriously up our game. You know, we had to become a world-class facility again. You always think about how does the person feel when they're in there. Wouldn't it be nice to kind of surprise people, give them something they haven't seen before, give them that cue. It's a fantastic experience to go into the Great Hall and see people just enjoying the space. This is the first experience that a arriving person into our country, if they come through this portal, the first experience they get of our country. LAX for me is I love LAX, I'll say that. Not only because I, I live here in the city and it's an airport that I go to all the time, but it's also uh, the place that I first came to the United States through. That was like my welcoming port, you know. I have a very memorable experience, you know, walked through there and it says, welcome to Los Angeles. And so to me, like having gotten to work there and because it's at the international terminal, uh, you know, maybe that this kind of becomes that same image for somebody else. This kind of an artwork can only exist in that kind of space, a space that enables one to move all the way around the piece, and see it from a, a variety of different vantage points. That's probably increasingly becoming something that airport architects have to deal with. They become a little bit more like city planners. You know, they, they're designing a kind of framework for things to happen versus being really, really specific because you know, if there's anything that's consistent in airports, it's that they constantly change. The constraints on the building, the, the demands on the building are constantly changing. And so how all these things come together creates opportunities to create new structures and new forms. And a part of making a place unique and special sometimes is the artwork that comes with as a boy, I used to like airports. I always would go to airports and walk around airports. I like the in-between space. Everybody's a little lost and not quite sure where to go, no matter who you are besides the flight attendants and the pilots. The thing about an airport is that you're going to get such a huge cross-section of people. My God, you're going to get as many points into this object as as many people in the city. When you're traveling, you look at those maps, of where the planes travel and they crisscross and they crisscross and they crisscross. Th that's what it is. You're gonna, you're gonna have a bricklayer to a professor to a hairstylist to an art, because everyone's not coming from quote unquote the art world. I don't believe in airport art, I believe in interesting art at airports. But we don't have to do it the same way that it was done in the 20th century. This is a whole new century. We can do it different. Each one of those pieces is an integral part of the building, but yet each one of them tells a pretty individual, unique story. I'm hopeful that every one of them makes the people that engage with them stop and smile and maybe think about how that piece moves through the building or how that piece moves me personally. We've been working on a master plan for LAX for almost 20 years. So we knew that we had to build something world-class, and part of being world-class was having world-class art. We selected Fentress Architects primarily because of Fentress's experience and because of Fentress Architects' philosophy of contextual design. We want a terminal that says you are in Los Angeles. 
So hiring Fentress Architects was actually a pretty easy choice. It's like curating the experience of what is LA today and putting it all in one place. I think of it as creating a sense of place that is about LA. It does take elements that are reminiscent of the city, but also some twist and new things of making it a more hospitable place, friendlier, and a place that sends you off in a manner that is memorable.